Snake diet, day 10. Uh, it doesn't mean that I am fasting for 10 days. It means that on the 1st of November, I started my snake diet journey. And I'm doing mostly 72s and some 96. So basically, I'm having two refeeds every week. But this is only week two, so we'll see. At day 10, I can say that I'm slowly feeling less hunger and less cravings, which is amazing. I'm, oh, even if I can't see the results on the scale yet, I'm just super happy. I'm not obsessing with food all day long. I think about it, but... You know, when when I'm hungry, I think about it. But also, I don't know, I feel like I'm learning how to spend my days without uh, buying food, cooking food, uh, cleaning the kitchen. I wasn't like super amazing cook um, before. But, you know, spending time uh, thinking about food and then eating it. And I don't know. It's amazing. I feel such so clean uh, outside and inside. I don't know. I don't know. But I feel I feel amazing. Not amazing physically because as you can see, like <gasps> so tired. But I was feeling tired before the snake diet because um because of my insomnia. I just want to say that. After 10 days, I feel like the detox is getting better. So um, I suggest to everyone to start and fucking suffer for 10 days and then see if, if I don't know, if life gets better. Every, every aspect of life, I don't know. I don't know, I feel more powerful. Even if I'm, I'm, I'm always the same person, but something some something that makes me feel more powerful and um, more free especially free uh because I'm, i don't have these thoughts about food all the time so thank you Cole robinson because because uh first week was super hard it was horrible but i did it and I'm super happy that Cole pushes everyone doing this thing. Like, he's like, yeah, you're gonna feel like fucking shit. No big deal. You're gonna feel like shit, and then it's gonna go away. So, yeah. Today I'm full of gratitude. And, yeah, I'm going to bed because I'm, I, I really need to. I'm sleeping now. Uh, good night. See you tomorrow.